Hey guys, welcome to the Keystone Chiropractic Blogcast. I'm Dr. Jonathan Chung. Today we're going to be covering a really important topic for many of our patients and even for some of our, our fans and a lot of our readers. Today we're talking about popping your neck. So you guys have all probably seen this. You've seen the guy that's in the gym and, or the guy that's sitting on the airplane or maybe the guy that's working on the homework right next to you. And you see the guy, they're just moving their neck around and all of a sudden they take their neck and they twist it really quick, you hear a rapid popping sound, and they go to the other side and twist it the other way. It seems like a scene out of a martial arts movie, right? People hear all this cracking sounds involved with it, and then you see the guy go into this state of relief. And people are thinking, well, you know, is this bad for you? A lot of our patients who are watching this will probably know that one of the first things that I recommend for people is once they start getting their head and neck corrected through structural chiropractic care, is that I want people to keep their hands off their own necks. And the reason is this, when people are self-manipulating their spine, we really have no idea what direction they're pushing the spine and what the end outcome is going to be. We do know a couple of things. First of all, I know that when people self-manipulate, that it feels good. And the reason that feels good is because whenever you open up those joints, you're actually sending a lot of really good feeling chemicals into your brain that says, wow, that felt pretty good. And all of a sudden people kind of get used to it, so they think that if it feels good, and naturally it must be good for you. However, when you think about the actual structure of the spine itself, if this is part of your neck, when people go through and they pop their neck in a certain direction, there's ligaments that are needed to hold the spine together. Every time that you pop your neck out, you are actually stretching those ligaments and causing it to expand. So rather than those ligaments holding your spine in a proper position, and what people have with serial neck poppers is that you have this really floppy neck going on. And all of a sudden, in order for their bodies and their necks to just feel good normally, they're relying on having to pop their neck over and over again. And that's why you see them do it not just once, but they do it twice, three times, four times a day in a lot of cases. So what we're having to deal with in the office now are people whose neck adjustments are actually not holding because the ligaments of their neck are so stretched out and their neck is so floppy. So this is a tough situation to deal with and to be quite honest, it takes a lot of maintenance in order to keep their head and neck in place. The second issue is when you're popping your own neck, a trained chiropractor has the ability to look at your x-rays and see if if there's any contraindications, anything dangerous that might not be suitable and might not be able to handle a neck adjustment, you might be looking for the proper alignment of the spine. And three, we're able to actually measure what happens after you get a specific chiropractic adjustment in the office. When you're manipulating your own neck, you don't know which direction you're pushing the vertebra. You don't know if there's any arteries, bad discs, or other bony anatomy that might be a contraindication to the spine getting adjusted. And the last thing is, you don't know what your spine's gonna look like after you self-manipulate. So, with that being said, getting under the care of a trained chiropractor, particularly a structural chiropractor, will ensure that A, you don't become reliant and addicted to adjustments, which so many people fall prey to and gives chiropractic a bad name, B, you know you're not going to do harm to yourself by self-manipulating. And C, you know exactly what you're getting because a good chiropractor will actually measure exactly what happens after your adjustment and therefore will be able to say, A, you're not just feeling better, but B, you're actually functioning better and your spine's in a better and more healthier position.